Welcome to Hayes Post, I'm Becky Kaiser. Room and board at the state's universities, including Fort Hayes State and Hayes, will increase next year. Those costs at Fort Hayes State will go up 2.1%. It is the lowest among Kansas Regent schools. The Board of Regents approved the hikes Wednesday, saying the increases are necessary to cover anticipated inflation, as well as facility maintenance and improvements. North Central Kansas Technical College is looking for a culinary arts instructor. The program is currently based at the Beloit campus where the instructor is retiring. NCK Tech is also partnered with the development of a convention center in Hayes. The dean of the Hayes campus, Don Benjamin, hopes the program can be established in Hayes using the convention center facilities to train students. The Beloit program has space for just 12 students. Planning for a Hayes Convention Center has been in the works for a couple of years now. Hayes City Commissioners assigned the Ellis County Coalition for Economic Development to provide a viable plan. No developer has been chosen though, and there are preliminary concepts which show a convention center being built west of Vine and south of the Holiday Inn Express. Preliminary funding concepts would include a Community Improvement District, a CID, that would establish an increased sales tax in the area to pay off bonds used in construction. Fort Hayes State University students in the Hospitality Management Program would be trained at the facility. Hill City native Jake Wooster has been hired as an Assistant Secretary of the Kansas Department of Agriculture. Wooster is a graduate of Kansas State University with a degree in Agricultural Economics. He served as KSU Student Body President and was a Kansas FFA officer while a student at Hill City High School. Most recently, Wooster worked as a Vice President for Peak Solutions USA. It's a leadership and management consulting firm specializing in agriculture and manufacturing industries. Wooster and his wife live in Fort Collins, Colorado. They'll be moving to Manhattan in the spring. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Lowe at Lifetime Dental Care in Hayes. Why pay more for slow braces when you can save money with fast braces? Fast braces can straighten all of your teeth in as little as three months to a year and are safe for children and adults. You can only find fast braces in western Kansas at Lifetime Dental Care in Hayes. I am so confident with this revolutionary braces technology that I even put them on my son Hayden. It's amazing how fast my teeth have adjusted and it's a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. So call now to schedule a free consultation and see if Fast Braces is right for you. But my brother kind of helped me out, you know, because he, uh, he kept on telling me to get hearing aids and I told him I had my ears checked and they told me that I'm all right, you know, but that he wasn't talking loud enough, which isn't <laughs> really what it was. You know? Well, really, I've talked to several people. Uh, that have come out here. Uh, the ones that I talked to were very satisfied. Improve your quality of life today. Call Hearing Solutions. Christmas decor and gifts for loved ones are very plentiful throughout Flowers by Francis. Every nook and cranny is adorned with holiday cheer, ornaments and decor for all, exquisite angels to traditional Santas and knit aspen hats and mittens, even exotic animal prints hung from every branch on every tree. Beautiful wreaths and centerpieces, lighted pictures, font needy figurines, lots of gifts from the heart. Flowers by Francis in Hayes. A new Kansas Board of Regents policy gives university leaders more authority to remove staff and faculty over comments made on social media. The Regents approved the policies, the first of their kind by the organization that governs the Kansas system of universities, community colleges, and technical schools. A policy in response to a tweet made this fall by University of Kansas journalism professor David Guth regarding the shooting at the Washington Navy Yard. Guth tweeted comments hostile towards the National Rifle Association and their opposition to gun control. The policy allows higher education officials to remove staff or faculty who post comments that incite violence or disrupt the learning environment. Kansas legislative leaders have taken steps to keeping retiring or defeated lawmakers from going to conferences and taking trips at the state's expense. Top leaders of the House and Senate agreed unanimously to revise the legislature's travel reimbursement policies. The suggested change came from House Minority Leader and Lawrence Democrat Paul Davis. The new policy says that if lawmakers don't file for re-election or are defeated, they are not entitled to state reimbursement of expenses for out-of-state trips. The new policy makes an exception when the outgoing legislator is an officer of a recognized organization or is asked by legislative leaders to represent Kansas at an event. House Majority Leader and Lewisburg Republican Gene Vickery said out-of-state conferences are designed to help lawmakers do their jobs better. 
In a story from the Wichita Business Journal, Kansas Critical Access Hospitals are wary of a new Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services rule that requires physician supervision for outpatient physical therapy services. Critical access hospitals are typically those in rural areas. Kansas has 83, and there are more than 1,300 across the country. The supervision rule has been in effect since 2010, but CMS has not enforced it amid concerns from critical access hospitals that they don't have enough medical personnel to effectively comply with the rule. Basically, the rule requires those providing outpatient physical therapy services to be under the direct supervision of a physician or non-physician practitioner, such as a physician assistant or nurse practitioner. The requirement is tied directly to Medicaid reimbursement, meaning no supervision, no payment. CMS decided this year to sunset the non-enforcement period and will begin enforcing that rule on January 1st. The Kansas Geological Society is investigating whether a recent earthquake in southern Kansas might have been caused by oil, by oil production in the area. But uh, Interim Director of the Geological Society, Rex Buchanan, says it might be hard to ever determine if the three-point earthquake Monday near Caldwell was man-made or caused by natural forces. Buchanan says there's no evidence yet to suggest hydraulic fracturing caused the quake. He says it's more common for minor quakes near oil production sites to be caused by the disposal of salt water waste. In Kansas, salt water waste is disposed of in deep wells. The Kansas Corporation Commission, which regulates oil and gas production in the state, is also investigating the issue. Crews are undertaking an annual effort to monitor changes in groundwater levels in western and central Kansas. The University of Kansas said the Kansas Geological Survey will measure 510 wells early next month. The Kansas Department of Agriculture's Division of Water Resources will measure an additional 897 wells. The monitoring focuses on massive high plains aquifer system, which consists largely of the Ogallala Aquifer. The data are used by landowners, state and federal agencies, local groundwater management districts, private entities, and the general public. From the winter of 2011 to 2012 and 2012 to 2013, water levels in the entire network declined by slightly more than two feet on average. Southwest Kansas was the hardest hit area with an average decline of 3.56 feet. This has been a news update from the Salina Post. Thanks, Randy. Remember, there is always more news online on our website, HayesPost.com. Winter officially starts Saturday and there is a change in the air. Kathy Carrier has our weather forecast coming up next on Hayes Post. Our shelves are filled with the largest assortment of Brighton ever. Remember to brighten her Christmas. Scarves, the perfect winter accessory. Watches are a timeless gift. Be ready for sweater season. We are excited to announce our new line Simply. Keep it basic or bling it up for the holidays. Don't forget gift cards. Happy holidays from all of us at Mamzelle's. Christmas is almost here and there's no place like Gibson's Healthmart Pharmacy in Wakini to brighten your holidays. Healthmart Pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. At Gibson's you'll find decorations galore from lights and wreaths to Santas and trees. There's gifts for everyone on the list from mom and dad to grandma and grandpa and of course the kids. When it comes to pharmacy, you've made the right choice. Healthmart pharmacists are trusted healthcare resources. Merry Christmas from Gibson's Healthmart in Wakini. Healthmart, caring for you and about you. The holidays are full of dreams and wishes. Imagine storing five times as many programs as a regular DVR. With Eagle Fusion's expandable hard drive, your personal video library will compete with a multiplex theater. Imagine recording all your favorite shows at the same time. With Eagle Fusion's five tuners, you can record them all simultaneously. Eagle Fusion brings together the best internet, TV, and phone experience. Give Eagle Fusion for only $5 per month. Call 877-61-EAGLE today. A storm system moving in from the southwest will bring winter weather to Kansas over the weekend with snow and sleet possible. If you are traveling, stay tuned to the weather for updates throughout the weekend. Here's the latest look at your Eagle weather. For Hayes, Victoria, and Munger, it'll be partly sunny on Friday with north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, cloudy with a chance of snow and sleet Friday night and Saturday with snow possible Saturday night. 
The high on Friday, 30 degrees with a low of 20. The high on Saturday, 31 degrees with a low of 19. It'll be mostly sunny Sunday and a high of 28. Russell will be partly sunny on Friday with north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. It'll be partly cloudy Friday night. A chance of sleet Saturday morning with snow and sleet Saturday afternoon. We'll look for a chance of snow on Saturday night. The high on Friday, 30 degrees with a low of 21. The high Saturday, 33 degrees with a low of 19. Mostly sunny Sunday and a high of 27. In Wakini and Ellis will be partly sunny on Friday with north winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. A chance of snow and sleet Friday night and Saturday with snow Saturday night. The high on Friday 31 degrees with a low of 19. The high Saturday 32 degrees with a low of 18. It'll be mostly sunny Sunday and a high of 29. From the Carrier Weather Service, I'm Kathy Carrier. And that is Hayes Post. I'm Becky Kaiser. Thanks for joining us.